Hi there and welcome to this third uh, weekly uh, tech vlog and I'm sorry that I couldn't do this uh, show this weekend uh, some relatives had come up uh, and again uh, this week uh, we didn't have a major announcements also so there'll be quick news section apart from that I'll take up one uh, issue that I have and this time it's a major issue so just stay with me I really want your opinion about this issue later on I'll just show you uh, one app that I really use and that might be helpful to you and lastly one gadget that I'm going to show you so let's get on with the news and uh, again as I told you this week was a little bit light on uh, tech news nothing major uh, Samsung has launched the Samsung tab s that is their premium tablet line in India uh, they launched the two versions uh, one was that 8.4 inch version and the second was a 10.5 inch tablet uh, Samsung is really touting about this tablet about the display the biggest thing is that now uh, we have a super AMOLED uh, screen on that uh, we generally don't find super AMOLED screens on tablets and this one was uh, with super AMOLED screens I will be reviewing this uh, Samsung tablets for uh, hopefully by this week I'll review them next uh, announcement to, and this is kind of a rumor it said that Microsoft is also going to jump on that smart uh, watch bandwagon and uh, they're going to release the smart watch in the next couple of months one interesting thing again this is kind of a rumor is that uh, it said that the smart watch that um, Microsoft will release will work on all platforms that is Apple iOS Android and uh, Windows so it'll be interesting to see uh, how Microsoft does this and actually are you guys interested in smart watches do let me know in the comments uh, the what do you say Google Wear smart watches have been launched in India the LG uh, one is launched I in fact ordered the Samsung gear live I I will be getting it by uh, 18th of July so stay tuned for that but I just wanted to know I need to buy this because I need to cover this stuff I'm not very gung-ho as of now uh, regarding the smart watches because of its price what that Samsung gear life I had to pay about 16,000 for that just wanted to know uh, what do you think about smart watches are you guys interested in it or do you think right now as of now the pricing is just too high for what it offers uh, ne next the third interesting thing uh, so sorry the third uh, news item that I wanted to cover is this is kind of sad because now Samsung has also said that they are going to exit the plasma TV lineup of business they, they still produce plasma TVs and they're going to stop production in the next couple of months if you recall Panasonic just last year uh, stopped producing uh, plasma televisions they had that brilliant Kuro line and uh, it's sad to see now that Samsung is also going to stop it so the only manufacturer left right now is LG and I heard rumors that LG is also going to end up their plasma lineup of televisions later on this year uh, I'm a little bit saddened because I do have uh, LCD televisions and even plasma television I have one Panasonic uh, plasma television and I have to say still the plasma produces much uh, better pictures and it's a lot easier on my eyes so it's sad to see that uh, the plasma lineup of televisions are going to add what do you think about it I, have you used the plasma televisions or, uh, or do you still prefer the LCD televisions so that's uh, for the news items and now coming to one of the major tech issues that I have is now this is very interesting and this is only applicable to Indian scenario and uh, lately if you uh, watch the news in the last couple of months uh, this is regarding online e-commerce and uh, some of the what do you say companies and manufacturers are against that for example uh, Lenovo, Gioni and Nikon are against online uh, selling and uh, they said that uh, they will not honor warranty or give limited warranties if you buy products from online sellers like Flipkart, uh, Amazon.in and Snapdeal. So this I feel is a really uh, important uh, topic and uh, I feel that uh, what these companies are doing in the short, I understand these companies, they have a huge dealer network and many times these online sites, for example, Amazon.in uh, and Flipkart, I buy a lot of products from both Amazon.in and Flipkart and uh, I have uh, personally got a lot of deals from them and a uh, lot of times so when I buy a particular XYZ product I could find it a lot cheaper on these uh, online stores compared to the physical retail stores and yes I can understand the position of these companies uh, but again don't you think this is like sort of anti-consumer because uh, uh, let's say let's I'll, I'll give you a very crude example let's say uh, this is one XYZ uh, smartphone uh, that is for 40,000 and uh, let's say this company is offering 
our, our dealer 10% commission on that. So the dealer cost for that product will be what? About 36,000. Let's say this is one X store and uh, they are selling this uh, whatever smartphone for 40,000 rupees. This is a physical store. I understand that if you have a physical store, you have a lot more overheads. For example, you have that showroom, etc. And they are selling it for 40,000. Uh, that is 4,000 is their margin. And let's say now there is one this XYZ company, let's say Flipkart or whatever, is selling the same product now for 37,000. That means they are just uh, Flipkart or whatever this XYZ online company is just having 1,000 rupees profit. Yes, I can understand the fact that uh, these e-commerce sites can uh, uh, give that because they don't have huge overheads. For example, they don't have to invest in huge showrooms, etc. But uh, these all, uh, retail stores have to do that. So what do you think about it? Uh, do you think that uh, these companies, for example, uh, as of now, Lenovo, Gioni and Nikon are sort of against online selling. Do you think this is a good idea in the long run? Because I feel ultimately at the end of the day, a consumer will go to a site or whatever which offers him better value because you have to understand if you even buy this product from that XYZ physical store and if you have a problem with that product, let's say you bought that smartphone, you open it in the house or something, you have a problem with that. They will, If you go to that shop, they will just give you the address of the authorized service center. You have to go to the authorized center yourself and get it serviced. This XYZ brick motor store won't uh, do the servicing for you. That's the same for the online stores also. So do you think uh, some of these companies which are a little bit reluctant uh, uh, with this online e-commerce in India, do you think that it is justified? I personally feel that this is not a uh, good thing that they are doing. Uh, in the short run, they are just shooting themselves in the foot i would say because e-commerce is growing if you see uh, if you compare it with the last year to this year it has grown and the projections are that it will grow further and further and i feel that now indian uh, consumers are becoming smarter before buying a brick a big product they will search online and naturally if i'm going to get that product let's say 15 percent less at some xyz reputable site I would go for that personally i would say um, i have done a lot of uh, online shopping with amazon.in and flipkart.com and i have saved thousands and thousands of rupees and i'm getting the same product with proper bill and warrant uh, whatever proper genuine bill and uh, it's sudden to see that some of these companies are a bit reluctant i personally i am not going to support companies which are against this policy because i feel that is sort of anti-consumerism I don't know what you guys feel about this. I am strongly against some of the companies who are against this online selling uh, because ultimately uh, end of the day, uh, consumer I feel uh, is getting a better deal. What do you guys think about it? I'm really uh, interested to hear your opinion about this topic. And uh, so just give up uh, two, three minutes of your time and do post about it in the comments. And if you agree with me, hit the like button. If you don't agree with me, hit the dislike button. Now coming to one Android app that I really like, and this is about battery. Uh, I do get this question a lot. For example, my phone was running fine, but just from past two days, uh, the battery life is not good. So what is happening? Please, can you help me? And this can happen specifically on Android. It can happen if you install some app and if that app uh, is not well written and if it does not allow your device to go in deep sleep, it can consume a lot of battery. And sadly, it is difficult to track uh, which app is misbehaving and it can take days and days or if you're not that tech savvy, you won't even come to know which app is doing that. Fortunately, you can just download this free app. Uh, this is called GSAM Battery Monitor. And it's a very simple app. And if you just let it run for a couple of days, it gives you a lot of statistics uh, about uh, how much uh, uh, how, how much battery life you're getting, how much screen time, etc. But apart from that, if you hit the first icon on this one, it actually gives you the entire list of apps of, Obviously at the top you'll find some Android services, don't worry about that. But if you notice some app or something that you do not use a lot and that is consuming a lot of uh, resources, then it might be a, a good idea to disable that app and see if you get better battery life. And I have been using this uh, GSM battery for over a month. It works perfectly and it does not consume a lot of resources. So if you are uh, uh, worried about your battery life on your Android phone and are not able to figure out what is happening, give this GSM battery monitor a try. Now uh, regarding the last section, 
of this uh, video about a gadget or a device that I like. And this is about budget Wi-Fi routers. I do get this a lot. And uh, I have been uh, testing and have used this uh, TP-Link budget oriented Wi-Fi router. It's a 2.4 gigahertz uh, N300 router. And I would say the performance of this router is very good. In fact, I have already produced a video review of this. So you can check out that for more info. Uh, the model name is TLWR841N. And I would say if you are on a tight budget and want a good Wi-Fi router, uh, do give this TP-Link uh, router a try. Uh, on Amazon or on Flipkart, it's right now available for about 1,440 rupees or so. And I feel at that price point, it's an excellent deal for the kind of performance this router gives. Again, check out my detailed video review for more info. So this was the third uh, weekly tech rip, uh, what do you say, show. So again, we'll be doing this next week. And if you uh, think this show was helpful, hit the like button. If you didn't like it, hit the dislike button. Thank you. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.